people I said I have to in order for me to really elevate I have to surround myself with like-minded individuals. I have to surround myself with people that's actually smarter than me, more intellectual than me. Then I actually could feed off that. You, I, you only could feed off something. I would say, <laughs> you only could feed off something when it has more value than you. And that's what it's really all about. And it's no, it's not, you know, to actually formulate. An inferiority complex towards uh, towards someone, excuse me, but it's all about what can you actually gain to actually elevate your life, and that's what it's really all about in life. This is something that I truly realize is that because once you hang around like-minded individuals, then those thoughts start to come to you. You realize that you, your imagination start kicking in. Just like Brother Nineteen Keys, he stated, he said that your imagination is way more powerful than knowledge, because anything that you got within your imagination, you actually could put forth execution, not just do it, but put forth execution, annihilate it, completely destroy that particular thing, and birth that into existence, into this physical realm, which is called the planet Earth. You know, so what I realized is that <clears throat> with my imagination and everything, I have to really understand like what's going on within my imagination like what's going on within this womb because certain times i would have like pieces and bits of things but i don't have the full connection so i actually can execute upon that and birth that to my existence or my reality you know so that's why i, I always talk about going on nature walks you know taking a walk and everything because once you take those walks things are connecting we got to understand, like, even when we sit still, things in our minds, things in our subconscious, things in our conscious is always formulating so we can have a, a, a clear understanding about particular things in our life. Something that I truly realize. But, you know, um, every time when I come out here, I, I realize that uh, it always shows the inner being that's within nature. Nature always reflects what kind of individual that you truly are within you know, and uh, I always come to that understanding. One quick second. <laughs> Sorry about that, brothers and sisters, but uh, I got my allergies is kicking in and everything. And right now, it's spring, and people know if they have allergies, how that shit kick in, though. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, uh, you know that. I came to an understanding with myself, you know, like for real. I came to the understanding with myself that me being the individual that I am in 2019, on this day, that the universe lies within peace, love, and solidarity upon your journey. The universe lies within my womb, because it's two wombs. Your mind is the womb, and your uh, body is the womb also. They both are wombs. Both of these aspects should be sacred to you. Both of them should. You know? And uh, once you gain an experience in life, though, man, it truly shape your perspective different when that comes with the paradigm shift. You know? But on that note, may everyone have love, life, peace upon their journey, and thank you for your time.